Good morning, students. Uh, today we will see the next point. In last lecture, we have discussed about the evaporation and uh, transpiration. Okay, and the last one point it was remaining that is a condensation. Now, what is a condensation? See uh, this uh, point also we have learned from in last uh, lesson also you learned that. Okay, so the condensation means what? Again, I will. repeat this revise this see the condensation when water vapors converted into a water droplets okay means in a liquid form on cooling this process is known as a condensation okay what is a condensation when water vapors converts into a water on cooling on cooling word is very important and that is known as a condensation for that one diagram i will show you see suppose uh, this is one glass okay in this glass uh, you put some the ice cubes this activity you can do at home also see in this glass what in this a uh, glass some ice cubes and you know ice it's very a uh, cold okay but do you observe it properly see what will happen the outside surface of the glass see this one is a glass outside surface of the glass you will see a small small water droplets okay a small water droplets on the outside surface of the glass why this happen what is this because ice cubes are inside the glass then why outside surface of that glass the water droplets maybe you have seen also now now only you take one water bottle from freezer okay after sometimes you will see the outside water you will see the small small water droplets okay what is the reason behind that do you know so why means how the water comes out because already the bottle is tightly packed and here also in this activity these ice cubes are inside then what is it is outside how the water comes see this is very simple see water vapors are present in our surrounding in air now how the water vapor present because of the evaporation process the water when the water at because of the high temperature water start evaporating okay so water converted into a water vapor so water vapors are present in our surrounding when this water vapors comes contact on this cold surface now this is one glass but nearby the surrounding air is present and in this air what is present water vapors so when this water vapors comes contact with this cold surface then this water vapors converts into a water droplets understood why this outside surface this water vapors are there because the water vapors converts into a water droplets when they come contact with this cold surface okay so on cooling water vapors converts into water droplets this process is known as a condensation see in your textbook also this activity is given this is very simple activity this activity you can do at home also okay now over the next point next important point that is a water cycle see what we will do discuss now water cycle now what is a water cycle why it is known as a water cycle see we know that after some you know, mostly commonly three seasons are there rainy season summer season and winter season okay means this common three season and we know when the june will start the rain will come okay this is this process is every year it happen okay but how this happened what is the reason behind that so why this is known as a water cycle so that point we are going to discuss now see here i written here definition this definition is there in your textbook also first we will read this definition see the continuous movement of water from the earth surface and water bodies now water bodies means what Mm, water from the river, lake, okay, that all are known as a water body, as a water vapor to the. 
atmosphere means what the continuous movement it is a continuous movement we we'll see if the temperature will increase the evaporation process is a continuously it is going on and because of that the water converts into a water vapors okay so the continuous movement of water from the earth surface and water bodies as water vapor in the form of how the water movement in the form of water vapor because this water is converted into water vapors why because of the evaporation process okay to the atmosphere so this water vapor where it is present in the atmosphere and from the and from the atmosphere back to the earth surface as a rain is called as water cycle means what first water okay when water is evaporated uh, then it convert into water vapor okay then this water vapors mm, will uh, this water vapors present in the atmosphere and again the same water vapors again it's convert into water droplets and they comes on the earth surface in the form of rain and this is known as a water cycle okay now this how it happens that we will see one by one see here the first point it is given that is the evaporation and transpiration means how this water vapor comes in the air in the atmosphere see now water is a present in oceans okay uh, then river lake pond means every year every where water is a present okay this water is evaporated why if it the tap because of the temperature because of the sun rays this water evaporated so that time water converts into water vapor okay and this water vapor is present in this atmosphere as well as how the water vapor comes through transpiration see now transpiration points we discussed by because of the plants also means plants also give the water means whatever the excess of water plants release by stomata that process is known as a transpiration so water vapor comes in the atmosphere by these two process that first one is a evaporation and second one is a transpiration okay now see the next point formation of clouds by condensation okay now water vapors are present in the atmosphere but how the clouds form see when this water vapors goes higher okay it will go in higher and when we will go the higher level the temperature is decreases okay below the earth surface temperature is more but when you will go the higher level that time temperature is decreases now see in a hill station mostly all the hill station their temperature is uh, less okay uh, see in bhaveshwar you know no bhaveshwar uh, means it is very above very higher level so their temperature is less so how when we will go the higher level at certain high there the temperature is a decreasing order okay and when this water vapor goes up slowly 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 but the temperature is less and so because of this the condensation process these water vapors converts into water droplets when they go higher level the water vapors converts into water droplets and the so many water droplets means very small small water droplets they comes together and they form a cloud okay so the formation of a clouds by condensation but see that is a not a big water droplet very small okay we can't see also it means if you will see from here the you will see no that is uh, sky we know na 
we know only okay it is in the form of gas but actually these water vapors which formation of clouds because water vapors converts into a water droplets okay now till the formation of clouds we now what is the next state see the next state is a precipitation now precipitation means what the coming down of water in the form of rain hail or snow is called as a precipitation means what whatever the water vapors goes up then they it form a clouds also and again the rain comes down maybe rain or maybe snow maybe hail okay now that all you learn in a fourth standard so that process is known as a precipitation so now what happened exactly here see when the condensation process occurs so water vapors converts into a water droplets okay but see at a certain time means uh, if it is of big water droplets means what when they will get the cold air there okay so that time water vapors converts into water droplets that process is known as a condensation and then if it is then it is heavy water droplets then they can't hold and then it comes it falls down if it is heavy then it falls down in the form of rain or maybe if the temperature is a very less then that water droplets freeze on that time only so it falls down in the form of snow also so mostly in a hill station the snow fall we know na snow fall now why this snow falls because the water droplets there only it freeze because of the less temperature okay so this come in the it coming down water in the form of rain maybe hail or maybe snow so this process is known as a precipitation means see the water again we get back okay then this continuous process is okay, this process is a continuously it is a going on means how the continuous movement of water means water converted into water vapor then it goes into the higher level and higher level the temperature is less because of that the water vapors converted into water droplets and the heavy water droplets falls down in the form of rain hail or snow so these the whole process is known as a water cycle see here the water cycle diagram is a shown here okay the with the help of this diagram you can uh, means it is very easy uh, to recall the water cycle how the water is evaporated then this water vapors goes in the higher level okay then it form a cloud and when uh, this water droplets become a heavy big water droplets then it will become a heavy and then it falls down in the form of rain then again the cow evaporation again condensation so this whole process is a continuously it is going on so this process is known as a water cycle see read this point carefully this all the points are given in your textbook read all the points and maybe you have drawn diagram also so diagram is very important for this read point and this main important points this only you remember okay so this point is completed now next point we will continue in next lecture thank you